when he was 12 years old, Jesus, there he is, with his family, traveled to Jerusalem. And they had camels. See, they were traveling. And they traveled, 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 and it took a while. In Jerusalem, Mary, Joseph, and Jesus celebrated the Passover. Yay! Hooray! Woohoo! Whee! The festival lasted for several days, and then they went home. The family was traveling back home, but they didn't notice someone was missing. Yep, it was Jesus. The camels didn't notice either. They traveled all day, and they didn't notice that Jesus was missing until sundown. And then Mary and Joseph are like, have you seen Jesus? I haven't seen Jesus. Oh no, where is he? We lost the Messiah. We lost the Messiah. Yeah, they were pretty much freaking out. So they went to Uncle Mordecai, and they were like, hey, Uncle Mordecai, have you seen our boy Jesus? And Uncle Mordecai says, no. And Mary and Joseph are all like, aww. And they go off to search somewhere else. So they go find third cousin, twice removed Ruth, and her husband Ehud, Gesundheit. And they ask, hey, our boy Jesus, you know him, have you seen him? And they say, no, sorry. And Mary and Joseph are like, aww. And they go off to search again. They shouldn't have expected much from Ruth anyway. She's kind of on the outside of the family, and no one's really sure how she relates. So they go ask all the cousins and nieces and nephews, and they're all like, hey, our boy Jesus, your playmate, your buddy, your pal, have you seen him? And they all say, no, 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 nope, 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 mm, no, 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 no. And no. Mary and Joseph are all like, aww. So they go off and search some more. Jesus is in trouble. Yeah. So Mary and Joseph go back to Jerusalem. And they search, 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 for three days. See? Still searching. They finally find him at the temple. He's there, surrounded by all the teachers of the law, and they were asking him questions. And he responded with amazing knowledge, and amazing wisdom, and amazing understanding. And after pondering, all the teachers were all like, whoa, wow. I never considered, I tell you what, wow, but what does this mean for, I never thought of it, man, like, my thesis is totally irrelevant now. And Mary and Joseph are so relieved to find Jesus, and Mary is all like, oh, thank God Almighty, we found you. Why didn't you stay with us? We have been looking for you everywhere. We've been so worried. Why would you? How could you put us through that? And then, like sometimes happens with moms, Mary lost all her words. But then Jesus was like, yo, why were you looking for me? Where else would I be? Uh, with your parents, maybe? This is Dad's house. I had to be here. They didn't understand, but maybe they should have. Because, you know, there was that angel who told Mary about the special child. An angel told Joseph, too, but he was sleeping at the time. And then those shepherds came talking about more angels on the night Jesus was born. And there were those strange kingy-type people with the strange gifts. Okay. The gold did come in handy. So Mary treasured up all these things in her heart and thought about them later. A lot. Because Mary was no fool. I mean, why would you pick a fool to have the Messiah? She kept them right here. Or maybe here. You know, right there with the arrow. Oh, I know. She kept them at the bottom of her heart, where we squish all the really important things. Well, it was in there somewhere. This story has been brought to you by the book of Luke, and by the chapter 2, and by the verses 41 through 52.